as promised, we've got Mark Booker from the Boulevard Ensemble Theater in the studio here live. Mark, thanks for coming down hey, here. Hey, Jeff. A pleasure to be here, and it's always a pleasure to see your wonderful beaming countenance. You never get any older. One of the eighth wonders of the world, certainly. I could say the same for you, Mark. Yes, you could if you were legally blind, if I but were you're an actor. not. Somebody has to play Oscar. No, uh, not Oscar Wilde. But Someone would believe that. me then, but you are. You are, actually. You're, you're directing this. I did direct the Milwaukee and yes. the state premiere of Circle Mirror Transformation, a new play by a fabulous playwright, Annie Baker. It is a delightful treatise about how art and theater can transform your life. This script has won rave reviews in New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Sandy Duncan, if you remember the television and sometimes film actress, toured in the role of Marty, the acting teacher. It's a delightful treatise about an uh, acting class in a community rec center, a fabulous cast, a creme de la creme of Milwaukee theater, including the wonderful Kate Sherry as Marty, Jamie Jastrab as her husband James, Michael Weber, the irascible Michael Weber as Schultz, the delightful uh, Christine Polnow as Lauren. She is a recent alumni or alumnus or alumna of First Stage Milwaukee and their production of All's Well, no, As You Like It. And I save the best for last, Beth Monholland as Teresa. It is comic, it is quirky, it is piquant, it is an exploration of how art does affect you, and yet it is also an exploration of how to become unstuck in your life. And it only runs through September 4th. Very covering limited. a lot of ground there. You're covering you're covering quite a bit of ground there. Well, I've gained weight, so but yes, it, I'm covering more ground than I used I'm to. I'm glad that's a positive for everyone, because the more of you, the better. More of me. Right? Why not take more of me? We, we want more Mark Booker, and we got it, because... Another directing, uh, you are planning on... Uh, this is our 26th season. Yeah. It's sort of like uh, I am becoming Milwaukee's answer to a poor man's Orson Welles. I thought you were retired from directing. <coughs> I'm tired of directing, they, but they I'm retired. They could not hold you back. They though. couldn't hold me back. It's no. like a fire horse hearing the bell once yet again. And I'm quite happy. So, you know, this is a great space for... This sort of a play, right? It really I mean, it's is. I mean, made. The Boulevard, as you know, Jeff, because you attend almost every other show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't endorse these things. I can just explain to the listeners. You could endow, but that's a different subject matter. That's uh, true. The, the Boulevard, located in the heart of Bayview, uh, like Lincoln and KK, and it is so suitable for film acting, very nuanced, because you're so close. We only seat several dozen patrons per performance and as you know this is our 26th season this is the opening salvo yes. of 26 years and it is a perfect step into what we do best which is offer opportunity for new and returning actors and premiere such diverting and dynamic work as Annie Baker's delightful piquant comedy Circle Mirror Transformation. Just the sound of this makes me think that it was almost written for your space. It is a. It's supposed to be a rec area with yes, some in an all utilitarian room, divulging I, and mm -hmm. and learning about themselves and and. I mean, I can't. I didn't. Well, see we it, have but. received such wonderful press, rave reviews from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, the Shepherd Express, nearly exploded in a gush of praise, as well as Peggy Donegan and P.S. Performing Arts, a new website for performing arts. It's great to have a female voice review theater as well Is it a as it's a theater blog. Basically, it's a theater blog yeah, or beautiful. blogette. Would that be blogette, blogessa, sure. blogen? Yeah, um, blog and Julie Blogetta, yes. and uh, that Julie McHale from Waukesha Freeman, and many other Wisconsin. Gazette that Shepherd Express, Quest Magazine. There's a ton of press that's out there, uh, and I and it's so great to be on MSC, which is I think so linked in spirit to the alternative artistic offerings that truly enhances what Milwaukee was and still can be. Oh, we are, we're there, and we're you there are there. You. We uh, we enjoy having you down here, Mark. And what was the biggest challenge on this uh, for you as a director for this play? What uh, what was your challenge, and, and how did you make that maybe a strength uh, for this production? Well, 
Honestly, Jeff, sometimes this is going to sound like a compliment to you. I always try to cut you down if I can, but you ask some very intelligent questions. I think what happens to some artists is they work smarter, and I've had a chance to work smarter. I cast the play exceptionally well. I was very fortunate. And then I just got out of their way. Mm. My goal is mm. to direct less and just remind the actors of their choices. This is a very... This script is an actor's playground. It's a mm. delight because you have so many levels and so many choices. While it's a Piquant comedy, comedy in the sense of Dante's comedy, it gives an actor a chance to play drama, pathos, humor, irony, sarcasm, and love. And uh, as with every bad or good situation, there is a romance that happens in the class which really shouldn't. And of course, everything devolves from that point. Excellent. Excellent. This is uh, kicking off. This weekend. 26 season. Actually, it opened last week. Oh, did. We got such wonderful press for it. We'll play only two more weeks. Right. Seven very limited performances. And as you know, as I mentioned, we only seat several dozen patrons per performance. We are the original Milwaukee premier storefront theater in Milwaukee and in Bayview. We started and contributed to the Bayview Renaissance. I know I'm a shrinking violet. Absolutely. No, it really has been amazing. Right. As as you know, it formerly housed an adult bookstore, so that space has a history of performance you were there before though too <coughs> i thought i think i went in to use the phone that's, that's, that's how we met isn't it that's right that's right Mark, give me a preview for the season what are the highlights great highlights including the jeff joy story we hope to get uma thurman to play that role sure sure or johnny depp up. Um, we're going to be doing Cowboy vs. Samurai, a delightful play by Michael Golomko, a retelling of Cyrano de Bergerac from the asian american viewpoint oh, it is excellent delightful and we have a great cast David Lee and some other wonderful performers as well as performing a series of one act comedies at Christmas called Happy Holly Plays if you get it mm. Happy Holly Plays and closing our season with a very dynamic script again by a female playwright Lisa Loomer's Living Out the plight of a Latina nanny trying to live the American dream in America it is a dramatic comedy it is charming and it will rent your heart the wonderful Marion Araujo uh, appears in the production and again so we're doing scripts that speak to diversity speak to our ethnic heritage in milwaukee and also mirror the milwaukee community as it presently stands mark i am uh really astounded it's great to hear your voice down here and your voice in milwaukee theater uh it is uh 26 amazing seasons congratulations well thank you jeff for that quarter century of devotion and for bringing Milwaukee all the greatest. And I appreciate that very much. I appreciate you and MSC having alternative theater arts on the air. God bless you. Fabulous. The rundown again uh, would be, if you wanted to contact Boulevard uh, Theater, it would be? Uh, well, we have the website, BoulevardTheater.com, yep. and of course we are located in uh, Bayview. You could always call us. Yep. We are in the book, but that number is 744-5757. Excellent. Look forward to this uh, production and the next upcoming productions and hope to have you back here, Mark. Because, I certainly hope so. Uh, it looks like a great, great uh, I think you and I should host time. a radio show together, don't you, Jeff? Mark, you'll be down here again. We always love to have you because uh, <laughs> you're just a, a special friend. I'm kind of like a human here. zebra mollusk. I just won't let go. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mark, thanks again. We'll have you down here for the next production. You can thanks, give us Jeff. a report on how the rest of this production works. Aye, aye, Captain. Excellent. More blues here. Some more... Hometown Blues uh, and Roots with Semi Twang, Wages of Sin, something Mark would not know about. That's a great film. You should listen to this, though. Uh, this one is a, uh, a new release, just wonderfully done. Michael Feldman writing, co writing on some of these songs. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. So let's get this out here. A bit of local talent. Nervous Energy is the name of this one with Semi Twang's Wages of Sin right here at WMSE. <laughs> 